I've run a 70 kilo of US roaster, Millennium Roaster. And this particular roaster has a touchscreen profile like included in all of them. Also, the uh, roasters, they have a, um, a catalytic uh, recirculation system on the machine, too, which will demonstrate a little bit. This machine also got several options on it. Uh, it has a stoner hookup to it, but uh, also it has a catalyst uh, afterburner just for cooling that we're not demonstrating really easily this load. We just want to run about 20 pounds of the roaster. We're going to pause for a few minutes, not to keep you for 15 minute roast time. And uh, meanwhile, then we'll come back and have cedar coffee when we're done. All right, I'm going to run out and go ahead. I know what we'll call a manual screen. I'm not going to do a profile that kind of hides everything from you. But we have learn mode. We have profiling screens. We can go into auto, auto mode if we wanted to, in both auto. What we're going to do back now is we're going to run this in manual. Our roaster right now is at 430. It's just kind of holding the temperature here, waiting on this to start. So let's put some beans in it. Go now, I'm going to go to uh, my green fan. Brazil not the best quality. And uh, today's price on coffee is not very affordable to do testing on the 350 pound coffee. We'll get a very nice roast out of the door to drop the beans in. Roaster's got timers, ready to climb, a lot of those things can watch it for you and help you roast better. Right here's a lot of stuff about different functions of the roaster. Turn my fan back down a little bit. We're roasting 25 or 30 pounds here. I'm gonna turn my, leave my shed temp alone. I'm gonna be pretty much running this roaster by controlling the burner output. But just for an additional little thing, I'll probably kind of hate to get past 300 degrees at the end of the road. A little bit about the machine. Uh, even all these stoners, you're not running this confused of mass, but even at speed drive allows you to really dial it in good to allow the stoner not to uh, break your beans. The uh, roasting drum on the machine too has a speed drive on it also. So you can experiment with a different speed of the roasting drum for different contacts of the surface of the uh, beam with it. This is just a little safety right here to build a pull a pin in case you need to manually open the door. Get a little beam jack right here, nothing yet. Uh, the roaster has built-in quenching and a built-in uh, we can't call it fire spread because of the insurance, but uh, it gets too hot to turn the water on, and you can control how much, you know, what temperature that water come on at. Kind of walk around here with me a little bit. Pretty cool right here. Yeah, the cooler. The cooler has a switch left in it. Won't rip your arm off. Kind of road master friendly. Catalyst cabinet right now we're running, but in here is our chase is our chase collector, a chase box at the bottom to hold it up in case for five, six rows. We recommend it for your understanding. But we'll drop the cabinet in it. This machine right here we run a test on it to a pass air quality in Southern California. It's been in here a couple of weeks, a little dirty. Uh, by the way, uh, we passed. This right here is our, our kind of unique deal. This right here is actually is attached to the cooler, and this has a catalyst in it also. This is optional equipment. 
you're in an area though where you have to burn your cooler smoke, this is the way to do it. And it's tied in so we can automatically run it through roads to be turned on and off. Temperature is adjusted. If you have a, 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 a catalyst unit on your cooling, you'll have to have also a, a chase cyclone. Even a little bitch can cause you trouble with your catalyst. All right, come back and check the roaster. coming up, but the setup too is the cat will slowly come on up into uh, about four, 400 on the run after a little bit of road. Even if you're roasting an area and you're worried about uh, the air quality people, you ought to keep it around 500. So uh, right now our temperature is coming up nicely. Uh, we've got a ready climb of 26. Uh, that was our last discharge we playing with the roaster. I'm going to sign out for a few minutes right now, and uh, we'll come back when we're about done with a roast, okay? No sense making you hang on. Come back.